Friday night, and you know what that means. It is time for Spaghetti and Friends Toy Show, episode 289. What is going on, B Boots? Be your boy Smith. As always, joined by the usual sus- suspects, minus minus one, Jimmy and Jimmy's running a little late, but he'll he'll be joining us soon. So it's just me and uh the Colonel right now. But oh my again, god. We, we got a great show though for you guys tonight. We uh we got fake news. We'll be looking at the Fallout trailer. And we got a little game of who did it better. So, you know, we got we got we got some we got some fun here tonight for you guys in the chat. Big ups to everybody joining us here. Yeah. Uh, before we start things, uh, Hasbro had did a little bit of a thing, you know, that they do now kind of almost, almost bi-weekly at this point, where they're just showing off stuff from Transformers, G.I. Joe. They showed off a couple Transformers, and I, honestly, I wasn't impressed with what they were showing. 
The only thing and I'm 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 riding high tonight because I got the big win last night, so I'm feeling good. Oh, you know you gotta feel good, son, man. You gotta get that thick boy win, son. Should have took it. Listen, he he started playing games, took his eye off the colonel, and, and paid the price. You know, people be people be getting caught up in that Waffle House arena, man. The, the lights, the, the crowd, the atmosphere, and they get distracted, man. Like I don't know if you yeah. caught the Moist versus AVGN last night, but you know, just another just another victim, son. Can't be sleeping on Moist. That's why I kind of I'm kind of concerned for Dwight race come down for bankruptcy, man. Cause like, you know, Moist is just I don't know. Can, can anyone stop? Him? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Uh, Ian. Uh, R.I.P. Akira Toriyama passed away yesterday. He got too. He got too cocky. He did get too cocky. He did get too cocky. But yes. Yeah, Sad news, uh, Akira Toriyami passing, you know, the creator of Dragon Ball, uh, Chrono Trigger, and a lot of other great, you know, anime property out there. Uh, yeah, I did. Definitely, definitely a big impact in the, in the anime nope. world right now. So, you know, R.I.P. to the legend. You, you hate to see it, man. You really do. Yeah, it was... I don't know. Nobody, nobody's been able to stop him yet. Listen, I, I don't know who's gonna stop Moist. I, I really don't. Yes. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. He's got he's got Dwight Race at bow for bankruptcy. He already beat Dwight in a non-title. But see, I, I people are thinking like, yeah, that's it's a, it's a foregone conclusion. But you know, Dwight Race is very resilient. Dwight Race is. He's tenacious, okay? Dwight Race, when he gets motivated, he can do anything. So, you're like, I'm not going to sleep on the world champion, all right? But it's definitely going to be a, a clash of the Titans come April 4th. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, a tough, it's a tough one to call right now. Yeah. What's yeah, it's kind of kind of came out of nowhere too. Like I don't, I don't recall like he was like sick or anything. I mean, it's it's pro it, it, it kind of harkens to like just kind of like the Chadwick Boseman thing of like you didn't know until the very end because like motherfuckers just kind of stay out of the public eye. You know, you know when you sick, you ain't really trying to announce that shit like that. Especially if you're not looking for that kind of attention. So it's easy to sit there and go like, oh, no one knew. Yeah, man. Like, it's just like, it, even recently, uh, the, the passing of Toby Keith. Like, I didn't know the dude even had something until I seen him on TV talking about it. But, like, it was the thing that until he decided to kind of go public with it, you didn't know because, you know, you just keeping that shit in private, you know suffering from some kind of illness or something like i said unless you're that kind of a narcissist yeah. you ain't out there trying to publicize you you know your your, your your illness out here in the streets like that and the other thing you trying to you trying to get treatment or you trying to spend time with your family because you you might not have that much time left or something you know so i ain't, you ain't really thinking about all of me let me go to the press and let everybody know i got i got that sickness i got that i got that stuff I mean, a lot of celebrities have done that through the years, especially those suffering from, like, illnesses. You don't really know they got yeah. something until, like, the very end. It's like you find out they have it, and then maybe, like, a month or two later, boom, they gone. You know what I'm saying? Some some might live with it for a little couple years, but at the, at the most part, it's like you just now just kind of clocking. You just kind of counting down the clock. You know what I mean? So it, it, you hate to you hate to see it, but again, it's one of those things where you know it, it's catching a lot of people at. But see the thing when it comes to these situations where you hear people go, "Man, nobody knew, nobody knew." To yeah, be real, I guess to be like real and, and even kind of harsh with it, it's none of your business. That's why you don't know. Same way I don't know. It's none of my business. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's we 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 always sit there and get kind of like that 
shocked when we find out a celebrity passed and we didn't know they had suffered from an illness. We're like, yeah, it was none of your business. It was none of your business. I know that sounds like, like I said, it sounds harsh, but it's the truth. It's none of your business. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, celebrities, whoever, uh, people in the public eye, they're still people. They're still people. Let's not forget that. They're still men and women. They're still human beings. So, like, not everything, just because they are public figures, doesn't mean we need to know everything about them. So, you know, some things are on a need-to-know basis, and those are one of those situations where, guess what? Myself and, and everyone around us didn't need to know. Is what it is. You you knowing not going to make his situation better. Me knowing yeah. not going to make that situation better. So, you know, I just, that's how I feel about it when it comes to those things. Like when people go out of their way to be like, I, I mean, no one knew, no one knew. Yeah, you wasn't supposed to know because it was none of your business. Yeah. I know we have these parasocial relationships with creators and artists and everything, but that, that's all it Hello? is. Hello? I wonder. Uh, What's going on, Jerry? Yo. We were just talking kind of about the passing of uh, Akira Toriyama. And just how like people kind of always go to the, I didn't know, I didn't know this person was this. And it's just like, that's not your business. That's why you didn't know. Easy. It's not something we should try to make a thing where it's like, we need to know when everybody's sick and dying. It's like, yeah. it, it's, it's yeah. a sad thing to know. It's a sad thing that happens. And like, I, I go back to wrestling. Uh, uh, Brody Lee. Brody Lee just passed. No one knew. No one knew. Why? It's none of our fucking business. It's sad that he's gone and it happened the way it did. But at the end of the day, like, people can sit there and go, ah, well, we didn't know. I didn't know. You wasn't meant to know because it was none of your business. What are we talking about? The passing of Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball. Yeah. The creator of Chrono Trigger. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm. Well, it, it, listen, the, the point that we were saying, Jimmy, was he died of an illness you know, you have people on social media all just giving the, we didn't know he was ill, we didn't know he was sick. I wonder, uh, I wonder what'll happen with Dragon Ball now, because the Dragon Ball <coughs> is still kind of ongoing. I mean, I would assume, like, whatever vision he had, they would carry it out, but who knows, man, you know, it's at that point, it's now, like, in the hands of, of, a, of, a, of a corporation that's gonna pretty much do now whatever they want with it. Because the guy who made it's not here to say anything anymore. So they, they can they can bastardize it, they can pimp it out, they can do whatever they want, unless 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 the rights go to someone else. But you know who knows? I don't know how that shit works out in Japan, so I'm not gonna sit here and assume. But let's 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 change let's change gears, lighten the mood, and get into. The number one source for news and information. Dr. Slump? Dr. Slump? I mean, get slumped up, get lumped up, because it's time for fake news. Uh, you know, as always, man, make sure you check those spaghetti policies. Alright, uh, we're coming in the little third party Transformers from Dr. Wu. <laughs> this Ric Flair company? What's this? Alright, we got DWE29C Destroy Planet and DWE01C Destroyer Emperor. Now, these are legend scaled uh, Transformers of yeah. Galvatron and Galvatron as the planet Cybertron, which is from an episode of Transformers The Headmasters, where he was kind of fantasizing 
that he would become the planet Cybertron, and that was kind of the picture he saw himself looking like, which is kind of stupid, but it is what it is. Don't ask, don't ask too many questions about it. I mean, these are not bad, but to be honest, like, this is not the best Legends in the third party that I've seen. Like, there's better looking Galvatrons out here. This one is, this one's almost like something Hasbro, Hasbro would have done. And you know what? If Hasbro made their Legends look like this, I wouldn't be too mad about it. Because this is an upgrade to compare to what the little rinky dinks they put out now from fucking Hasbro, so. Yeah. And he's just a big planet. He doesn't transform into anything. It's just a gimmick. Or well, maybe it does. Oh, okay, yeah. He, he can fold his legs and head in. Okay, there you go. And now it's kind of like a Cybertron. I guess. I mean, it's cute. It's quirky. It's a little thing. Thankfully, these ain't like a uh, deal breaking on price. Twenty nine bucks, second quarter of twenty twenty four. Okay. And if you are one of those types, you can also get it in. Right, come on. It's old comic book slash toy, classic toy color, as well. So you can you got that option as well. Moving on, we got, uh, you take this. You, you there, Matt? Can y'all not hear me over there with the Discord gentleman? Jimmy, can you hear me? Can the chat hear me? Am I just talking to myself here? I love when a plan comes together. Hey, you guys, can you hear anything? I'll be right back. I'm going to restart my Steve device. Like, I, I can barely hear you guys. Co-stars of this show. Sonic trunks, yeah, I know it's it's just me and Sonic right now. We we chilling. No, I'm 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 gonna drop down Sonic a taste. Alright, so since uh, since I'm I'm rocking solo right now, everybody everybody leaves me. Everybody leaves me. They leave me. No one wants to be around me. They don't want to do my shows anymore. Steven Slayer. It's uh, something I watch regularly. 
I, Sorry, my I, bad guys. I think I'm I think I'm having a little uh technical difficulty here. Mm, same here. I can barely hear but anything. The, the, my audio is not synced with what uh is like what Smith is saying is not what I'm seeing in the Discord. Okay. Does, does that make sense? No. But can you see what's can you still see the screen share though? No, I can I can I can hear you. It's just the my audio is like not synced for some reason. I can hear you, but you're cutting in and out, so I only hear every other word. You can only hear every other what I just said it down on Discord's funky, so what's going on, PlayStation 9? Alright, so yeah, we got this dude here from Demon Slayer. And it's pretty decent. Is that a softened cape or is that just so a plastic though? No, that's plastic. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. The chat should be able to hear you. Should be good. What about you, Jimmy? You still having uh, audio issues over there? Yeah, I guess so. I guess I guess I'm flying solo too. All right, so twenty bucks, May of twenty twenty four. All right, there, Jim. What we got next? Alright, also from Demon Slayer, <clears throat> we got Yabuya from Demon Slayer, the, the little girl in the box. It, Jimmy, can you, can you hear me? I can hear you, but I, I can barely hear Smith. He's like a robot in and out. See, it's like what, what I'm seeing in the Discord, like the audio is unsynced for me, like... Like I'm, I'm still looking at like the Demon Slayer figures. Because we are looking at Demon Slayer figures. Okay. Yeah. Because it's like a, I, okay. Okay, maybe it, maybe it fixed itself then. Can you hear me now? You can hear me now, right? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Okay. So maybe it kind of, maybe it kind of fixed itself. It's, it seemed like. Uh, like I was behind or something. I don't know. Technology, right? But okay, yeah. Cool. So we got uh from uh a Demon Slayer Legends line. We got uh we got Nezuko, which looks good for twenty bucks. I mean, uh, at, at this point, uh, at this point, Figma might as well pack it in because everybody is making better everybody is making better figures than figma at this point like everybody's making better demon slayer figures than figma they might as well just pack it in at this point is this this 20 dollar nezuko looks a thousand times better than figma's like hundred dollar nezuko yeah it's, it's pretty good i mean uh Minus, uh, minus like lack of accessories on this one, you know, like, uh, she obviously doesn't come with the swappable hands or any swappables or at least as much swappables, but, uh, for 20 bucks, she looks pretty nice, you know. Like I said, I haven't, I still haven't really gotten to Demon Slayer, so. Like, uh, yeah, like, uh, Figma, Figma might as well pack it in at this point. And I mean, for 20 bucks, <clears throat> I mean, it's not a bad deal for, for 20 buck figure, so. You know. 
could be worse. It could be a lot more, right? So, May of 2024. Yeah, 20 bucks, man. Right. We got some more uh, Demon Slayer. This you don't see a you don't see a lot of figures for 20 bucks nowadays. <laughs> and yeah, these are like what? What's how big are these? These are like five inch, a little under six inches. So that's not too. Bad. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I think the first season is okay, but yeah, I'm not familiar with this character here. But yeah, this is uh, this is this is it's exciting for me because uh, outside of Buzzmold, nobody else is doing like Tengen yet, like none of the import companies. <coughs> it looks good though. No, it's not. It's it's like the it's like the Jada toys, you know, like they're making. They're making figures that are affordable. Like, they're making figures at, like, old-school prices. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. I mean, decent articulation. You know? It's under six inches for $20, I think, is fair. You know? I think it's a very fair price, to be honest. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah. No, not too bad at all. Also, 20 bucks, May of 2024. Come on, guy, give me more. And that shit sold out already. Look at that. God dang it. Uh, Oh, so this pretty much just, uh, for the most part, a straight re-release, right? It's a re-release, but it's a repaint. I think so. Because this is, um, the last one was... What, okay, I think we already Legacy. got this guy in, uh, was it, uh... I think it was the Legacy or the Kingdom. Or it was, it was one of those, like, re it was one of those, like, recent lines. Like, I don't think it was, uh... No, it was like the Legacy last one. Or whatever. Yeah, it, it looks was good. The last, it was the last one. It was still the Legacy because he came with a trans. Because I think we got this guy repainted as Twin Cast. No, no, no. You, we got yeah. twi we got a Twin Cast and we yeah, got a regular yeah. one. Yeah, we did. You're right. He came with the translucent. But, I mean, eject. you know, if you kind of if you kind of missed out on uh, Blaster the first time, it's always good to it's always good to get a second chance. And this is more cartoon. This, mold this is, is actually uh, really good. cartoon color oriented. So yeah, they got this one more. He, yeah. He's he's supposed to be more color oriented, where the other one was that like legacy or whatever they wanted to do. So yeah, this is studio series. So he's gonna look more like the cartoon version. Toy version. Hold on a second. This is what the f Hold on a second, chat. Give me one minute. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 
Uh, we we did hear you. We were hearing you. Yeah. All right, there you go. Sorry about that, chat. We had to work out some audio stuff going on because, you know, technology be a bitch and everything, but it's all good. We're, we're, we're. I think we should be good now. Uh, but, yeah, this this blaster, it's fine. We, we've seen it before. It's just a repaint. It's just cartoon color now. So it's not that special unless you really wanted a yeah. more colorful blaster. So, but. And I mean, it's, I, I think it's better because the, the translucent eject was kind of weak, but, you know, that's just my opinion. Oh, look, it sold out already, so. so. Yeah, I, I do agree. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't like the translucent eject. Like, they made the head sculpt a little more wider than the, the previous version. And like I said, the red's a little more vibrant. They changed the front of the his uh, tape deck. It's a different it's a different date uh, loadout than before. So yeah, they 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 redecoed him a little bit, like I said, because he was more from the cartoon than just a toy. Yeah, I think it's way better. I hate it on the website. Like they should, they 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 too they 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 try so hard to be so fancy that it just be fucking shit up. Like okay, thirty five bucks sold out. You probably find this in retail soon. I'm closing this out because this should be fucking up my shit. Get out of here, Hasbro. Yeah, like it's another Hasbro. Come on, so yeah. yeah, get it, get it together. All right. Uh, I don't remember. Did we look at? I don't. Did we look at this last week, right? The two-pack uh, Morbius, Doctor Strange. Uh, no, I don't think we. I don't think we. I don't know if we talked about that actually. Well, yeah, they got. We got a two-pack of Strange and Morbius from uh, Spider-Man: The Animated Series, which I wouldn't mind getting this just to have that this version of like Doctor Strange. 
Yeah. Cause like yeah, I that's a that's I, a nice Doctor Strange. I don't, I don't have a Strange right now, so and I really don't need one, but it'd be a, I wouldn't mind having one. And if I was, I like, I go for this one. Plus, I, I'll get a like cartoon comic type accurate Morbius that I could just put my Spider Man rogues. So you know, it'll it'll just kind of fit. Yeah. And he's got the plasma sucking hands because he can't because he can't suck blood. Ah. <laughs> mm. uh -huh. I always thought that was kind of weird when I was a younger. I was like, why is he sucking plasma in our blood? <laughs> Ew. Like you're a vampire, you're supposed to be sucking blood. We all know this. Why are we uh? Yeah. Why are we pretending? And it's weird too that it's like, oh, I can't. We can't portray the vampire sucking blood. But I mean, you've had episodes where you're like, "Ah, oh, it's in my blood and blood," but we we now can't suck blood. I don't know. Yeah, it's it, it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of weird on like where they draw the line on what they can do and what they will and won't talk about or what they will and won't do. Yeah, it's it's, it's really weird. Where you, where you decide to like kind of draw the line on things but uh, I guess it is what it is but like I said Morbius looks good we got a little Spider-Man action going on uh 50 bucks for this July of 2024 I gotta close these pages out cause has has those pages be killing my browser get out of here Take this one, Matt. Oh wait, I need to put the thing back. Oh. There you go. Forgot to put it back up. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. So this kind of came out of nowhere. We're getting uh. Uh, what is this, like the transparent version of the uh, it's, Phantom it's Ranger, right? It's supposed to be like invisible. Yeah. Like he's cloaking or something. So is, is, does this mean that they're starting up their Rangers again? Like is Lightning Collection coming back? After know. its little hiatus? Maybe. Who knows? I see all that money just sitting on the table. So I might, might be reconsidering. Hmm. Well, it looks good. I, I personally don't need it. I think this is more uh, up uh, Matt's alley. Uh, no. I kind of, I kind of don't really need this either, to be honest. Oh yeah. It's just uh. I don't know. It's just a translucent shadow ranger. It's or it's you know it's like uh, like like this is supposed to represent when he goes like camouflage, which I don't even remember him being able to do. Oh, Trump it's said nice. This was, a, this was a pulse exclusive for a while. Yeah, oh. yeah, it was. Yeah, like it's 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 fine. Like the the Shadow Ranger's a nice mold. Like it's a nice figure, but I, I just don't I just don't really need him in like uh, camouflage mode, you know. Unless you unless you're like really like that about like Lightning Collection, unless you're really like that. I mean, it, you never know. Might, might, might come in handy on some display shit, uh, but no. Because. Yeah. Like, it's not bad. Yeah, I kind of. 
I'm kind of good. I don't really, I don't really need this. I, I get you ten. Yeah, what if you had an army? Okay, good. So if, I was if this shy, was... I was too shy to ask. Twenty six bucks. Oh late March of twenty twenty four. <clears throat> oh, okay. oh here we go here we go okay from uh shf we're finally getting a pre time skip luffy you know this is again this is luffy as he appeared in everything from like romance dawn up until like marine ford well, looks calling this really the, good they're calling this the romance dawn so yeah, so this is like this is basically Luffy how like we first we first see him. Like uh, you know, this is like his first look. This this is nice. This is really nice. Uh you know, the first uh SHF Luffy was kind of disappointing. Like I think there was a lot of QC issues with it. And it looks like they it looks like they listened to what people were saying. And it looks like they paid attention to what people were not liking about the uh, first SHF Luffy, which uh, was the pre-time skip. And it looks like they improved it. Like already, the the range of movement on the knees looks a lot better. So yeah, I think this is definitely an improved version. And for a lot of people, they they like the the pre-time skip better. Uh, this is one I I think he he'll sell out. And when he does, I think he'll he'll start shooting up on the aftermarket. Like this is one that I could see uh, going for a lot. Like in a couple months, he'll be he'll be going for double the double the retail or triple the retail price, you know. And considering the retail price is only like thirty bucks. It looks good. That's not too bad. I think he, I think he looks good. Yeah, man, thirty five bucks is not bad, not bad at all. Now they did. Uh, I didn't put them on here because it's just like I'm yeah. not even gonna give them the time of day. I'm actually gonna gatekeep them. They did uh, some FH uh, One Piece from the Netflix show. They're ugly. Actually, ugly. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Not even gonna waste some time. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that here. Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. It's like, no. So you get the good stuff. You get the you get the Nami. Woo! You know. <coughs> yeah, you know. You uh if you going in on that Luffy, you know, and you wanna you wanna, you know, get him somebody to kinda accompany him you know someone to kind of join him in his travels who better than uh who better than nami again this is her pre-time skip look she looks good she looks really good yeah, my bad. this is my favorite version of nami that's your favorite version yeah not the one in like the bathing suit top or nothing like that <laughs> uh, you know like that one's that one's pretty that one's pretty good that one's pretty good too sicko uh, I'm not sicko I, I like that uh, I like that like people will like people will like point out how like as she went through the series like breasts just got like progressively like larger <laughs> so <laughs> So, like, if you can kind of compare this one to, like, let's say how she is currently, then it's quite a quite a noticeable difference. Uh, I will I will start with the most recent season then. Start with the recent. Uh, I just don't watch it at all. That's 
what I do. But the booba. I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not lonely. That's, that's not, uh, always, <laughs> that's not always a Don't... selling point for me. Hey, that's the most indirect insult I've been given on this show. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I got, I got some fight. I hope your, I hope, I hope, your audio, I hope your audio breaks. Yeah, this nice, this, this another one, this another one. I think, uh, like I said, I, I think a lot of people prefer the pre time skip designs. So this is one too that I think it'll when it sells out and people can't readily get it anymore. I think it'll, I think it'll get really, I think it'll get really high on the secondary market. So for anybody that's kind of kicking the tires on these, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't play around too long. You know, you might, you might want to, you might want to lock you in a pre-order now. You already got yours in? No, I'm, I'm going to probably pass on these. Oh, okay. It's because yeah, it's just because I've already I already committed to uh variable action heroes for one piece. I've already committed to that line. And like I've already committed to like doing the, doing the post time skips. Hmm. The post time skip looks. And I don't wanna I don't wanna sell all my I don't wanna kinda sell all my current one piece figures and just kind of restart, you know? Yeah. But like, like if I had like no one piece figures and like I was just getting started, then these are the ones I would get. I, I definitely would not get the Netflix, Netflix ones. <laughs> And again, the, the the benefit with these is I think they're, you know, I think they're they're take they're looking at a lot of what people are saying about the first releases, and they're kind of improving it. So you know, you're almost you're 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 almost getting like improved improved versions. Like it's uh it's almost as if like they're they're kind of. You know, like they kind of got their, they kind of got their ear to the ground. Like they're hearing what people are saying. Mm -hmm. Which is always good, man. Like it's always good when, uh, when companies are kind of paying attention, you know, like I always appreciate that like when companies are paying attention and they're kind of listening to the feedback it, it 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 shows that they actually that they actually care about their consumers and that they want to they want to put out the best product you know in other words not being a NECA or a McFarland. yeah although although i gotta i gotta a little bit give credit where credit is due McFarlane has been pumping out a lot more classic DC characters as of late. He finally ran out of Batman. <laughs> it's like he's he's still he's still he's still sleeping when it comes to villains and like female characters. But like I don't know, did you see the did you see those like leak like listings for like upcoming McFarlane figures? Now what's he gonna be pumping out? Um. Uh, okay, the I, I don't remember everything off the top of my head, but the one that really kind of piqued my interest was he's doing like a classic like Sergeant Rock. Okay. Which uh, I don't know. Are you familiar with Sergeant Rock? Mm, not really. But like he he's he's basically just like a World War Two soldier. Okay. But uh you know, like it's one of those it's it's one of those figures that like Mattel never really messed with. 
and he i think he had like a dc direct figure but it was like really early dc direct so in other words not very good and i think that one is like is is very hard to get now so it seems like he is somewhat taking note like you know like we got that red tornado which was pretty nice yeah that, that one's got good that, yeah, like we got the like we got the classic Wonder Woman this year or last year, I guess. Like we got the we got the Martian Manhunter, Animal Man. Yeah, yeah, like Animal Man. So I I, I don't want to give him too much credit, but I I think. I think secretly Todd really wants you to buy his figure of himself so that you can swap the head with Batman. <laughs> Jimmy, don't That's worry. Funny. He'll 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 do that. He'll do that for us. <laughs> okay, uh Trunks, let me let me let me tell you something, Trunks. If they did, if they did Sasuke in the black outfit from the Chunin Chunin exams, Uncle, believe me when I tell you that I would buy multiples easily. Excuse me. Like hands hands down, I would buy multiples. Like I would buy multiple Chunin exam Sasuke's. Oh my god. She's a little more. Sixty-five bucks, November yeah. of twenty twenty-four. That's that's how they get you. Like that's how they get you. Like they give you the main character for like cheap, so you're more invested in it, and then they all the other ones are more expensive. But uh, okay, blast blast from the past right here. Uh, from Neca, we got we got. Kevin McAllister, Home Alone. You know these are the uh, eight-inch. Yeah, these are the eight-inch cloth line. Um, yeah, these are these are nice. I, I never I never picked these up the first time around, so I'm I'm a little uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a little tempted now. Yeah, I miss them because I I slept on them and. Uh... I'll probably get these now that uh, they're doing it again. I don't know how I feel about that face. It's it's it. He's just happy. Um. <laughs> That's all. His parents came home. His family came home. He's happy. I just committed double murder. How come he didn't get charged with any sort of vandalism? I'm like, he's just not a... Like, this ain't up the city coats, uh, son. Who gave you permission to hook these ropes up on these electrical wires? <laughs> <laughs> like, wh who, who gave you this firearm, sir? Like, uh, all this... With the charge your parents with neglect. They, they, that's another thing. They, they, so they don't get hit with no... You hit him with neglect? Like, how you, how you forget your child? You leave your child at home. You don't do proper head count. It's just all kind of... You know, fun. okay. You know what? Like, I, I remember... I remember reading, like, uh... Like, on... I, I was reading an article online, and, like, I don't know why, like, I just never forgot this... But I remember reading there was this guy, like, I guess he was, had to take a train to meet his wife. And, like, he got on the train and was, like, halfway through his trip before he realized he forgot his baby in, in the car. So I guess, I don't know, like, I guess it does happen. I, I was I was expecting a funny story. That That's not funny at all. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's not. Like, yeah, like... 
like he got like he got on the train got himself seated and was like halfway through the trip before he's like oh my god i forgot my infant child in my back seat it's wild this wild shit man 40 bucks in stock now Yeah, these uh these are a little more expensive uh this time around, eh? Yeah, they uh bumped up the price. We got uh we got uh, Harry here. Looks uh Joe Pesci. He looks nothing like Joe Pesci though. Face is just kinda off. What 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 about this figure is funny to you? What's it's not funny. It's cause it doesn't look like Joe Pesci. <laughs> Sorry. The only one that actually looks like the actor is the Daniel Stern fucking Marv. This is not like I don't know if I action. ever knew that guy's name. Who, Daniel Stern? Yeah. I think I just went through my entire life without knowing who that actor was. Who, uh, Marv? Uh, the uh, the other one. He's talking Wait, which about, one is this? talking about Marv. This is Joe Pesci's Harry. Okay. Harry. Yeah. Daniel yeah, Stern yeah. is Marv. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I don't know Daniel Stern. He's been in such other classic movies, like that movie and this movie, Home Alone. Is he in Arachnophobia? I honestly don't think I've seen him in anything but the Home Alone movies. No, nah, he's been in a lot of movies. I can't think of any right off the top of my head right now. <laughs> yeah, these all look good. I mean, I don't know. You're you're probably not going to get just one of these, right? Like, if you're going to probably get one, you're going to just get all three. Yeah, right? Like, you're not going to get just one of the wet bandits, obviously. Like, you're going to obviously get them both. Uh, wow, Gojira I, I mean, says Little Monsters. Uh, I, I never heard of that. Monsters? Is that the movie with Howie Mandel where he's blue? Um, wait. Oh, yeah, Fred, he did play. Didn't he play? Yeah, he played the dad. He played the dad. Yeah, he was in Little Monsters. Good call there, Gojira. Good call. He was in some other movies. I'm trying to remember what, but... In fact, hold on a second. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. So Jimmy, are you gonna are you gonna go in on these? Yeah, yeah, I will. Here we are. Daniel Stern. Let's go through some of the IMD. We got City Slickers. That's right, he was in City Slickers. Rookie of the year. I mean, we're in like come nah, on. No, nah, I never heard of that, PlayStation 9. I never heard of that. Chud, it sounds familiar. But yeah, I forgot he was in uh, City Slickers. And yeah, yeah. But yeah, Daniel Stern. Now you know his name. Daniel Stern. 66 years of age. But yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm glad we all learned that lesson together, Chad. You know, we, we all learned something today. He, Daniel Stern's been in more than just Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, if we, I'm pretty sure if we clicked on like his IMDB or something, it'd be even longer than what we're seeing right now. But we're not, that. that's not what we're here for. <laughs> yeah. So. I think that's what we could be here for. We could be here for that, but we're not. The Daniel Stern show? No. 
<laughs> Daniel Stern show. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Daniel Stern and friends. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're the we're the friends. <laughs> Daniel Stern and friends. I hate you. <laughs> and he's like he's like he's like that he's like that one friend that's like always too busy like every time you invite him out like he's always like ah oh, i can i got to i got to make a movie so that's why like he never actually appears on the show but he he'll, he'll, he'll send you a he'll send you a cameo if you pay $50 for it though <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you say, hey, hey, Daniel, I, br- I bought your action figure. What's good? Can we hang? <laughs> I, bought you, I bought your figure. Somebody made an action figure of me? I wonder it's from which movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is, it from, is it from Rookie of the Year? <laughs> City Slickers? <laughs> Y'all ain't right, yo. Like Y'all shouldn't be making fun of Daniel Stern like this. <laughs> we love you, Daniel, if you're watching. We all love Daniel Stern. He's a national treasure. Why? It's his show. I said, I said <laughs> we were his friends. It's his show. <laughs> he, he, he's running the show now? Okay. Let's move on. We got a lot more <laughs> shows going here. Let's, let's get back on the ball. Uh, we got uh, Mang yeah. models. We got Dune 2021. Uh, okay. Model kit. You gotta put it together yourself. Uh, yeah. So if you like this one, over. Now this is the deluxe version. There is a basic version that doesn't come with the stand that you would have to put oh, together I do yourself. Not. I'm good, I'm good on this. Yeah. Like I said, it just doesn't do anything for me. By the way, SmackDown's on now. Mm. I'm good on whoever this guy is. Yeah, I'm not really about doing like that. about that doom life i'm not i'm not really about that doom life like that i hear you me neither people want to pretend like they are but you know it's, it is what it is nah nah so I'm, I'm good. like i'm not i'm not trying to i'm not trying to collect like doom figures I didn't buy. I, I wasn't but, fucking with him. You can customize them to be Willy Wonka guys. Uh, who makes the Who makes the Dune figures? Is it McFarlane? Yeah, they were. Yeah. If... Uh, no. I, I guess yeah, I, they, I, they I, were. I'll put it out there just in case. You know, I, I'll say this: those, 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 if somebody makes Chalamet, a giant sandworm Chalamet figure, fanboys. I'll get, I'll get it. Like if somebody, if somebody makes like a giant sandworm, I'll buy that. But this is for the Charlemagne fanboys. That, fan that would girls. be the extent. Forty-five bucks, second quarter of twenty twenty-four. Yeah. I like I like to call them Charlemaniacs. Oh, we got some Roroni Kenshin. Hey now. What's this from Bandai? Yeah, Bandai. I mean it looks good if you went to Roroni Kenshin. I never watched this show, but I like the name. Okay, yeah, going uh, 
Yeah, going back to uh, figure arts. Getting this uh, Kenshin. I think, I think, I think it looks good. Yeah, but I think it looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's pretty. It's pretty decent. It's it's pretty good. It's very. It looks very articulated. I like that. Yeah, I see Logan Paul out here flexing with the United States Championship. Yeah, yeah. That's the only. That's that's the only thing. Uh, that's the only thing. Trunks is yeah. Like, uh, you know, you probably. You probably don't want to be uh, giving and contributing money to the creator. Like, I, I don't know if he still kind of gets money from this. <coughs> but, uh, Drunks, if, if you're, if you're kind of, if you're kind of looking for a third party one, you should get the, you should get the Dawson one. The Dawson one is really nice. Or unless you kind of get this on the aftermarket, like if you get it on eBay or if it gets like KO'd. But uh, yeah, you don't, you don't want, you know, we, we don't want to be giving money to this creator. 65 bucks September of 2024. Also from Bandai, we got Common Rider Ghost, SH Figure Arts, Common Rider Spectre, Henshi Generations Edition. Yeah. Yeah, this uh now I don't know I don't know nothing about Common Rider, but this guy looks pretty cool. Are they really going to stick a prime energy drink in the middle of the fucking ring? Have we really gone this goddamn commercial with it? Are we really yeah, doing again, this? Again, not, uh, not, this is, uh, this is not my, this is not my, uh, realm of knowledge. This is not within my realm of knowledge, but, uh, I, I do think this guy looks really cool. Man, I will say you, that. Do, do you see what's going down on SmackDown right now? He looks very good. Oh, fucker. Okay, Matt, you see what's going down on SmackDown right now? Uh, yeah. Why is there a prime energy drink in the middle of the fucking ring now? Are we really going that route? Uh. This is dumb. Yeah. We're in that in. You can't defend this. This is this is dumb. This is just as bad yeah, that's, as that's... this is just this is just as bad as woo energy drinks. Oh, uh, and they got KSI. Uh, that's lame. This is very lame. Bro, they need to, yeah, they need to, they need to get that right. They need to get that right out. They need to get that right off the ring. Yeah, I, I hope, I hope they're just joking that they're gonna officially have that uh prime bottle sitting in the middle of the goddamn ring because that that shit is sad. Ugh.
Yeah, that's pretty sad. They better they better change that they better change that canvas ASAP. Uh, so or in RKO in KSI, that's uh that's special. Change that ASAP. And Paul man. Why 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 are we doing this? I don't care. Why are we doing this? Why are we I, don't... I hope they're not for real with like having this actually in the middle of the ring on a WWE show. Yeah. Like, I hope they're not serious about yeah, this. I don't wanna yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna see a giant prime bottle every time I'm watching a WWE match. I don't wanna be looking at a giant prime bottle. Like they don't come on, come on, WWE. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't need the, you don't need the endorsement from Prime that badly. Like y'all, y'all, y'all really looking for that young audience, man. They want that young demo. They want that. They want that YouTube crowd. Yeah. I guess. Like, please don't, do not have your wrestlers sit here wrestling over this fucking gimmick ass energy drink that probably gives children diabetes. Like, stop. Yeah, exactly. Cut that shit all the fuck out. All the way the fuck out. Yep, 100%. But yeah, the common writer, yeah, Like, you know, like, like, I get how, like... I get how, like, UFC does it, you know? Like, they have, like, sponsorships and they put it on the mat. But, you know, if you gotta put that... Make that prime bottle smaller and put it, like, on the side where nobody will ever see it, you know? I mean, even the EW don't sit there. They they just put they just pip it out on the on the on the announce tables and uh have that on the on the rope. But they 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 got a new set, so maybe they dialed it back. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It looks cool. I like I like this coming right. It looks good. Fucking Logan Paul, man. Uh, don't even say his name. <laughs> like what when, when is somebody gonna shoot that motherfucker already? Oh, 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 oh. Come on, you trying to get us kicked off, man. Come on. Jim. Yeah, these all look these all look good. I just again I don't know I don't know enough about Common Rider. I haven't watched enough Common Rider. To kind of be invested in it like we that. Catch up, man! You gotta get up. But, to, uh, you better get up to speed with yeah, that. Yeah, these do look really nice. Huh? Okay, let me see. All right, this one is the Cross Z Henshin Generation Common Rider. I know, I know. I gotta. I, I always, I always tell myself I'm gonna watch it, and then I just never get the. I just never get a chance. But I do at some point. I do at some point wanna wanna get more into it. Okay. I mean, yeah, it looks good. <clears throat> I dig it. Like I said, I want to see. They got an anime of Common Rider as well. And it looks pretty badass. Right, I'm going to have to take that out of the Discord because it's hindering audio for some reason. I don't know. Discord being a real fucker. The Cross Z. Oh man, why there? Oh, that 
Cross Z is going to set you back. Trunks. Sixty-eight bucks, December of twenty twenty-four. So are these guys like? Is this like a? They're like a. They're like a team or whatever. Uh, this is something like that. I think uh, I'm still learning myself. So. Don't quote me. And then we got Kamen Yurai the Zio Geese Henshin Generation Edition. Like, I know some of them are like all the same and then they like transform with different attachments and then some of them are different, but like it's... Like there's so many different versions of the of these of the common rider shows, it gets kind of kind of gets mixed in my head. There's okay. So many. I got you. They're all from different seasons. <laughs> Also, sixty-eight bucks, December of twenty twenty-four. Yeah. All right. So from Bandai, we got Undead, Unlucky, Fuku, Zumo. This is a this, this is a anime show. I've been watching this uh, for a while now. It's a pretty wild show. Yeah, they all look good though. They all look uh, they all look really nice. It's a definitely like a crazy show. A lot of violence too. <clears throat> I was talking about some others about these two. You know, like ah, I like the pricing is a little much. But I'm like, if you just get these two figures and kind of one and done it, you, you know, it really not. It's not the worst thing. Yeah, price is a little much. Yeah, it's good. I like it. But yeah, these are. These are pretty cool right here. Definitely wanna. Uh, I'm tempted to fuck with these. Like I said, I I, I dig the characters. Anime's, you know, it has yeah. its, its episode. And these but... two are probably all you need, right? Like you don't. Well, yeah, these, 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 like, like the I don't think characters. you need uh, every single character. Like I think if you just get these two, like these two are the main characters, and like you said, just kind of leave it at that, then you're good. Seventy-two bucks. That's probably that's prop. That's probably what I'll do. October of 2024. And you gotta get your boy, Andy. This is the, the badass cutting off all his own limbs and shit. And he's got like a piece of sword sticking out of his forehead. Yeah. And he could stick the whole sword in his forearm and just hold yeah, it so there. I'll, That's badass. I'll probably just get the two main characters and just leave it at that. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. I wish though they would have gave him more <laughs> options to like cut off limbs and stuff. Cause that's kind of a thing he'll do in the in the anime. Yeah. Like he cut off his hands to shoot them out like missiles, like hand cannons. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he looks really nice. Like he cut off his own head just so he could headbutt somebody. 
Like, that's pretty cool, man. <laughs> All right. Andy's a yeah, yeah, that would have been cool. 78 bucks, October of 2024. Uh, we got Spider Punk <laughs> from uh, Bandai. Yeah. From Into the Spider Verse. I mean, it's a good looking design, but it's not something I really care in my to have in my Spider Man collection, to be honest. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> well, well, you heard what I said. I don't need this Spider Man. Why? Are any of y'all picking this one up? Yes, I guess. Uh, get. Yeah, I guess, uh... Yeah. How about you, Jimmy? You picking this up? Yeah, I wasn't, uh... I wasn't a huge fan of Spider-Punk in the, in the movie, so... I'm kinda... I'm kinda good on this. Are you picking this one up? Yeah, I'm. I'm not a. Uh, I think his design was a little silly, so I'll move on. And I didn't like. I didn't like. Like I know how like Spider Verse, they do them all with like the different uh, like animation styles. You know, like each each character is animated from their universe. I, I did not like his animation. So mm. yeah, this uh. It's an easy pass for me. I'm not getting this. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this, uh, this one here. It's definitely easy pass. Don't need them in the, in the Spider-Man collection. Plus, I already have the one from uh, Marvel Legends, and that's that's pretty. That's a pretty decent. That's a pretty decent. Uh, like I can hear you. I can hear you, Jimmy. No problem. But I don't know if you guys are hearing me or not. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, especially uh, especially for the price. Like I don't I don't really need a import. Spider Punk, you know. Like I don't know. Like if you really need a Spider Punk that badly, I don't know. Just get the ML one. Ninety bucks, September of twenty twenty. Save yourself a couple bucks. September for our birthday, Matt. Oh my goodness! Oh. Now, now I want it. Yeah. Now we got Godzilla versus Space Godzilla SH Monster Arts. Mangura. Mangura. <laughs> Mangura. Uh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I Yeah, this is kind of cool. And I do need a Magura. So I'm kind of I'm kind of on the fence about this one, because uh, this would too. scale with Hyatt Toys, right? Mm, technically, I think. Yeah, yeah. So this uh, but this I might I might I might go in on this. I actually might go in on this one. I'm I'm really tempted on the Monster Arts Space Godzilla itself. Yeah, like they're doing the whole move, like the line from the movie. Uh, I'm really tempted. I don't know. It like yeah. I, I feel like I say the same thing every time we look at one of these. It just depends on what Haya puts out, right? Yeah, yeah. Like that's the thing, right? Like if if Haya Toys puts out a Magura, it's like substantially cheaper. If they put one out before this one, then yeah, like I'll probably get that one. But again, like Haya Toys, like the only thing we've seen from like the classic like Toho line is Godzilla. Like we haven't seen anything else. Yeah. So how, how long? 
how how long before they get to like a Magira, you know? I mean, that's probably yeah. I mean, it's probably a while away. I, I think we will get him because they seem to really fle- they seem to really flesh out most of their lines. So I think we will, but he's a long ways away. Yeah. So like, if this one kind of ends up coming out first, then I might. Uh... I might just uh I might just grab this one. Yeah. Uh Goji Gojira says hi uh Gojira says hi is a little taller but good enough. Really? Hi is so, yeah, good enough. So yeah, I guess I guess it's gonna come it's gonna come down to whoever whoever puts out Agira first and again right now Haya Toys like I we haven't seen anything other than Godzilla and I don't see them I don't see their second figure being Magura, you know. Like I feel like we'll get a we'll get a Ghidorah, we'll get like Rodan, probably get like Anguirus before we would ever get to uh, Magura. So there's uh yeah there's a there's a very good chance I'm gonna there's a very good chance I'm gonna grab this one. What's up? I like the little statue thing that comes with to hold them in place. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty sick. One sixty with a sixteen dollar deposit, October of twenty twenty four. Goddamn deposit! Oh, brother. From Bandai, we've got Monster Hunter, SH Monster Arts, Rothalus, 20th Anniversary Edition. Uh, this, this, this is pretty dope. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Play Monster Hunters once in a while. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I like it. Again. I don't know if I've ever actually like played a Monster Hunter game like from start to finish. But they're long games. I like I I can appreciate how nice this looks. I just don't know if I have enough attachment to Monster Hunter for me to drop this kind of money on it, you know what I'm saying? Like, although it does look really good, I, I I just don't know if I'm uh I just don't know if I'm like about Monster Hunter like that. I guess this could just work as like a, I guess this could just work as like a generic dragon too. Like if you want to kind of pair him with some other stuff, that would probably look nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Do do like in uh like let's say do they do you fight dragons in like Elden Ring? Yeah, you fight dragons. Cause like in if Elden you fight. Ring. Yeah, cause like I think uh I think there's like an import uh. Elden Ring figure, you know, maybe like you could kind of do something like that. Like maybe that wouldn't look too bad. I'm gonna use him as Donkey's wife from Shrek. Oh my son of a bitch! Which is like way better than Elden Ring. True. Okay, Jimmy. That means I'm gonna need two of these. I'll make note of it, brother. (laughs) (coughs) How dare you desecrate. (laughs) Shrek is trash. Shrek ain't trash. Whoa, hey, yo. Shrek is overrated. Oh, my God. No, uh, you're overrated. Nah, I'm, I'm underrated. 
emotional damage. You know who isn't overrated? Daniel Stern. Listen. Who? <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna have all this uh, Daniel Stern slander on this show, sir. <laughs> 170 with a seventeen dollar deposit October of twenty twenty four. Uh also from Monster Hunter, SH Monster Arts, we've got Zingori. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's like a big old jagged horned wolf or something. Ooh, fuck. Mess you up good. Um, yeah, again. Again, yeah, it looks really cool. I just, I don't know if I'm about that monster hunter life like that. You better get it to that this boss called the life. <laughs> this one seems like less versatile, you know, like the, seems like with the dragon, you could kind of do more with this. With this one, it seems, this one seems more like very specific to monster hunter. Yeah, I, I can't think of any Shrek jokes right now with this one. Oh. Shrek is for losers. <laughs> oh, you're a loser. <laughs> Shrek is for babies. I am a baby. <laughs> also, one seventy with a seventeen dollar deposit, November of twenty twenty four. Baby matter to twenty two. Alright, from Hot Toys, we've got Star Wars Ahsoka, Shin Hadi with Nobody, 1-6 scale. How many of these Shin Hadis with the Nobody you getting, Jimmy? Who is this? The girl from Ahsoka. The girl from Ahsoka. Oh, you know oh! Who it is. Don't pretend like you don't. Oh. You, know, you, you know you. you yeah. Know you, already pre, you know you already pre-ordered like three of these. Do do her clothes come off? Do her shoes come off? You know my requirements. I mean, I'm not. I gotta ask. That's not my concern. What you? It's do my you, concern. What you do in your own private <laughs> time, sir. And none of my. And do it on YouTube. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, listen, you do it somewhere else, sir. You don't do that here. Well, why? Because we don't live that life. You about to live that life? No, I don't think so, sir. I don't. I don't. I don't know what you. What did he say? I, I bet this Shin Hottie's already like your desktop background, son. Top background is Spider Man 2099 and Batman Beyond. Because I'm that kind of nerd. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, 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 that's a yeah. yeah, I forgot about Jimmy that. Jimmy likes to tattoo big burly men on his body. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> don't don't say burly. It makes it sound like I'm gay. But you love the burly men. He's not burly. He's girthy. Hey, yo. Hey, oh. That's why. That's why. That's why you got blades. Look at that. She's looking at you with those cold blue eyes. And keep it up, I'm a nigga. White skin. Oh my god. Look. What are you doing? This is a family show, sir. <laughs> it wasn't me. It's all for these shit and chicanery. 
Well, the Shin uh, Hazuki like with no body is two ninety five with a twenty nine fifty deposit June of twenty twenty five. So you got time to save up for your Shin Hotties with no body, Shimmy. Thank God. And then when you get the Shin Hottie, you got to get the Bale and Skull. The Bale and Skull. Which is pretty good, but it's three hundred dollars though. Yikes. Yeah, I know. I kinda want it, but it's like, nah man, I can't. It's not that I'm just that's not my stilo. Is three hundred dollars like is that like a higher end hot toy? Seems like a this seems like a lot for just a guy, like a regular guy, you know? It's kind of it used it used to mean it was like higher end, but now it's kind of the standard. <laughs> for like, like I don't know, like like three hundred for like a Vader, where he's like okay, he's like a robot man. Seems like I don't know. That just seems more like reasonable than this. V- Vader, like these days, like a Vader gonna cost you like four hundred. I mean, he does look good, though. Can't, I can't deny that. Yes, three hundred dollars. Still looks. Good. Don't think of. Are you going in on this? Nope. I am not. You get five? Yeah, you get five of these. Whoa. That's a lot. Balin, where is your skull? Not your skull. Where is your skull? Oh, is that a tease that we're going to get a white Ahsoka at some point? Uh-huh. Oh, that was already announced. Oh. I, I think the white one's up for pre-order, actually. Oh. They waste no time. Yeah, two ninety nine. Wow. Thirty dollar deposit, June of twenty twenty five. Look who's back. It's Pennywise from Sideshow Collectibles, but it's that nineties version, so it's the actual good one. Yeah. The one people like, the Tim Curry version. Mm -hmm. And it looks just like Tim Curry, even with all the ghoulish makeup. Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm Pennywise, though, man. Even classic Pennywise? Kind of out of my... This is the good one, I don't yeah. Know, man. <clears throat> yeah. That is. Good one. You're right, you're right. This, you're right. This the, is this the good one. This is the good one. This one's six scale, though, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm good. 
He's got balloons. <laughs> He's got a paper boat. He's got ghoulish hands. And look, you can put them on your little coffee table. Can I customize them into the hotel manager from Home Alone 2? Uh, probably not. Then this can is I, not... Can I, can I customize them into Dr. Frankenfurter? Oh, then I'm out. Yeah. $2.99. $30 deposit. March 2025. Oh, now this is something I'm thinking about I might fuck with because I don't have one. This is from DX9. This is their version of uh, the uh, Stunticons. And Minnesota, this is a five pack, so you're getting all all five plus everything in one shot <clears throat> with this package deal right here. Um, how does he scale with Zeta? He he's up there. He scales. He, he's he's kind of up there with the Zetas, so he's he's a, a decent size. Okay. I know a lot of people are still waiting for um, fans' toys to finish theirs. But I'm like, uh, I don't know about fans' toys, but I might fuck with this one. It's been years. They've been working on that for years. And the individual stunner cons are not bad looking either. And this is probably... The cheapest you're going to get on these combiners from the third party. And you like technically getting a whole nother figure with the whole body mold. It's like it's all the parts forming. <laughs> like what do you even need Boda Master for if you, if you just... turns into a gun I, I'm considering it, it it depends on on scale um, I have to look at some reviews it's 20 inches Combined. okay so that, that's yeah I think like he'd be said, a little it's, shorter it's, it's than like there, it's it's up there with the other ones. It might be like an inch a little bit smaller than some, but it's it's pretty decent size mm -hmm. with the Zetas. Cause I've seen them with the other ones. Like I said, I, I'm thinking about it. It's what, four sixty? Yep. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it, I don't think you can go. I don't think it's I don't think you'll find it any cheaper than that, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, and it's it's not bad because you you not you knock out the whole sh you knock out the whole thing in like one shot. You know, like you're just kind of you're just kind of one and done. Basically, like you get you get all five stunticons in one shot, and then you never have to worry about stunticons mm -hmm. again. I'm going to have to think about it, because like I said, I really do need a Minnesota. Let me see. I'm going I'm to I'm check the other sites to see if the other site Transformer sites have this a little bit cheaper, but I'm going to shop around. But yeah, Damn, I'm going to finish yeah, my Minnesota before I finish my Raiden. Fuck me. But yeah, for four sixty ninety two dollars deposit, May of 2024. All right, from Queen Studios, we've got another Dune. It's the, it's the same guy, but a little more grander scale, one six scale figure. I mean, it looks good. Looks like the guy. I just don't care about Dune. <laughs> Dune. Dune, same. Like it's not a terrible looking figure, at all. 
I just don't care about Dune. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like if you're if you're into Dune, if you're into Dune like that, then for sure this is this is a nice piece. It's just yeah, like I'm I'm not about Dune like that. Like I'm just like Dune. Dune is not super high on my list of uh, f- space franchises. You know, like Dune is like pretty pretty low. Like I, like I said, the only time I would buy any kind of figure from Dune is if somebody makes like a giant sandworm. I'd, I'd, I'd buy that just as like a, just as like a really cool display piece. But that would be about it. Yeah, like I said, I, I I got nothing bad to really say about the figure itself, but the franchise is just something I'm not interested about. So like the figure doesn't doesn't do anything for me. So yeah. I hate sand. It gets everywhere. It's so coarse. <laughs> It's coarse and it's rough. It's rough. Uh, six fifty with a sixty five dollar deposit, second quarter of twenty twenty five. That's why he choked Padme. Oh, thought he just thought Christ, she would. Christ, Kamen Rider. Uh, this is Kamen Rider X Classic Signature Art Kamen Rider X One Fourth Statue Limited Edition. Scale limited edition statute. Looks good. Yeah, pretty solid. Feet are on the ground. Uh, it probably would have been a little bit better if he was riding the bike, but you know, it is what it is. You know, the bike's looking pretty sturdy and ain't popping no wheels or nothing like that. Not being reckless. Yeah. I don't. I'm not sure which version of this common writer is. I've never seen this one yet. So, but looks good. I mean, that belt looks a little suspect. But you know, that's all right. We ain't gonna talk about that. Yeah. You see the price? Eleven twenty five with a one sixty eight seventy five cent deposit. First quarter of twenty twenty five. Yeah, I was uh Transformers not the bro boys. Alright, we Sorry, got- Jimmy. <laughs> what? <laughs> we got dev- we got a devastator it's not here. For... I mean, it's a, de- it's a pretty good looking devastator for a statue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks good. All we need to do is make it transform, and I'll buy it. Yeah, it does look. It does look good. How many of these you getting, Jimmy? Well, doesn't matter how many I get. You ain't getting one. Yeah, you getting me two. Uh, you got that right, you getting me two. Because I like you told me in confidence that you really actually don't like Transformers. It's like a, all a ploy. Everybody knows so, that's just lies and slander right there. So I'm just gonna. Lies I'm gonna get one from anybody. And... A slander. Just, just mm-hmm. lies and slander all days. It's, it's such, it's such a lie. No one, no one even believe you if you said that out loud. They'd be like, "What, Smith? 
not in the trailer. And then, and then you told me that, like, uh, lies and slander. It's almost like saying that birds aren't real. It's just. And then, and then you and then you showed me your really creepy Sailor Moon collection in your closet. And, uh, yeah, that's just weird day. All kinds of slander because you know what? I wouldn't be ashamed if I had Sailor Moon. I would have it out proudly. So that's how I know you're a faker and a liar maker. See. Well, they so, were they were all see, naked. The, I was I'm, kind gonna, of I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you slide because that, that's the blades talking. All this kind of chicanery, sir. You're gonna have to refrain. From being a, like a, a no good nuisance and get your shit together, sir. This is a this is a family show. I don't know how y'all do things at Bernie Man, but here we do things a little bit different, sir. Here at the Daniel Stern Show. Yeah, here at the Daniel Stern Show, we have higher sense of quality and control of our of our environment, and we will not sit by for this type of slander and skullduggery that you are possessing right now, sir. Okay, we're talking about Devastator. You're going to buy like five. It's going to set you back like almost four grand because, you know, you got it like that. They don't even got... Easy payment plans for this. They said, nah, nah, son. Give me the down. Give me that 780 down. You don't even get the easy installments for payments, son. They said, nah, I don't trust you. You're flight risk. You flagrant. <laughs> and that's going to do it for fig news, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy that as much as I enjoyed it and Matt enjoyed it and Jimmy just pretended to be here. Wait, what? What do you what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always here with you, Smith. You're Even when you sleep. Oh my. I'm, I'm hiding in <laughs> no No, I'm hiding in your Sailor Moon closet. <laughs> I don't have a Sailor Moon. <laughs> my closet with all the new Sailor my Moon. Is full of empty boxes and clothes and apparel and winter blankets. What? What? Like your bras? <laughs> bras. Right, guys? I only wear the finest apparel, sir. I wear eighties. Oh. I wear shit from eighties tees dot com, sir. Eighties tees. Sir, I, sir, I, I only wear the finest velour. Velour, fucking Frenchman. The velour <laughs> fog. All right, well, we're gonna get to the part of the show. We're gonna have some fun, and we're gonna play a little game called <clears throat> "Who Did It Better?" Who did it better? Marvel DC, as we all know, in comic books, there's, there's a lot of uh, tomfoolery when it comes to copycats and such. So we're going to take a look at, out of those, uh, there's a few, I picked out a few, I didn't do it all, but I picked a few. Who who did it better? And, and we start things off with, we got here, Man Thing. From Marvel and from DC, we've got Swamp Thing. So those mm. are who did it better? Was it the Man Thing or was it the Swamp Thing? Who did it better? I've always, I was always more partial to Man Thing. Yeah, me personally. too. Yeah. I, I, me too. I always liked I always liked Man Thing better because he looked more of like a creature. Nah, Swamp Thing's cooler. What are you talking about? Okay, like Swamp Thing is objectively the better character, but I think Man Thing has the more interesting design. Yeah. So I, I guess it's a, I guess it's a, I guess it's a matter of like. 
what's what do you care about more like swamp thing is probably the like i said the, the better character like i don't know i just always thought the design of man thing like he just looked more like menacing and when you find out that he's actually like a good guy i mean swamp thing's a good guy swamp thing's a great yeah, guy he is. Yeah. Yeah, Swamp. I don't know. This one, this one is. It's hard for me to say if I think one of these two is better, because uh, I think they're both good in, in different reasons. You know, Ow. I don't know. I don't know. You, you, you starting it off too hard for me out of the gate. I, I don't know if I could pick one. I mean, me personally, I would go with. I think Swamp Thing did it better. I mean, I, Man Thing is cool, I, but I, think, I, I, I like think Man too. Thing is cool. But I, I, I was always more partial to Swamp Thing. I like, I liked his look better than Man Thing's look. Like I, I think too, like I think uh like I was introduced to Man Thing in that like weird like horror movie. So I feel like that made me like a more I don't know, I'm kinda leaning towards Man Thing. I just think I like Man Thing better. Yep, same. Although I although I do like although I do like I do like Swamp Thing. Uh, I don't know, I'm just partial to Man Thing. I don't know. I, I think it's just because he looks more like a scary creature. Like he looks more like menacing, but then he's actually just a big baby. Hmm. It's just, he's just a big baby boy. Alright, that's cool. I mean, it is what it is. It's not like we're not, it's not like a versus thing. I just like, these are all just basically carbon copies. It's like, who, who did it better? Or who... Who do you think did it better? It's not even just a look thing. I think, especially with Man Thing and Swamp Thing, they're both kind of obscure characters too, so it doesn't really matter. But it's all right. We got Superman and Hyperion. <clears throat> Who does it better? Um, Superman. Yeah, su Superman. Superman. Definitely Superman does it better. That's that's not really a question right there. Yeah. I mean, Hyperion tries, but he he, he already kinda kinda f fails coming out of the gate being a bad guy from jump, you know. It's like we already got evil Superman. They're called Bizarro and Alternate Universe Superman. <laughs> so yeah, but thanks, and cyborg Superman and cyborg <laughs> Superman. But thanks, thanks, thanks for coming, Hyperion. We appreciate you in the squadron, Superman. So you're welcome. All right, here we got one that might be a little bit uh, Red Tornado or Vision. Which which android does it better? <clears throat> Red Tornado. Vision. Yeah, I think Vision. I don't know. I always liked Red Tornado, so I, <clears throat> I I like I like Red Tornado too, Red but Tornado for sure. I don't know. Yeah, Vision I was never is a more. Vision, fan. Vision is like I find Vision is more interesting. Uh, he 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 has the better look. His power set is way better. Again, it's not a thing of like which. I like Red Tornado a lot too, but I don't know. I think the only thing like the difference of like these are both like androids, but their power sets are definitely different from each other, though. Like, see, and that's Vision, that's where Vision's I feel is more of a like, he can you know his strength plus he's got the the tangibility, whereas it's like Red Tornado is just he's intelligence, but he's also just tornadoes. Vision, Vision also had a hot wife. 
Thank you for that. <laughs> well, since you put it that way, Matt, <laughs> I and say Vision red, red, did it better. And and Red Red Tornado was Lois Lane at one point, and I didn't like that. Hmm. I saw the Red Tornado McFarlane figure at Target a few weeks back. And I'm like, I'm not doing yeah. McFarlane, so I, I let it. I let it pass. Like I said, I'm not even. Are you, gonna, are you like? I'm done with McFarlane. I was like I said, I'm done with it. I, I was gonna, done. I was gonna do a Justice League, but it's like I don't want to. I don't want to deal with him no more. I really don't. Bye. You, you you just you're out you're out of McFarland just like that. Like I mean I'm out of McFarland DC stuff unless there's something that I truly want. But there's nothing he's making that I want to do in the versions that he would come out with. I don't want. Like I said, the the Justice League that that I have is good enough. Like I have the core group. I don't. I don't need the outsiders. You. you know what I'm saying. I don't need the booster golds and the blue beetles and and the and the red tornadoes. Like I've I've got a la- I got two lanterns. I've got a Flash. I've got a Batman. I've got a Superman. I've got an Aquaman. All I'm missing is a Wonder Woman. Are you gonna get the classic Wonder Woman? Uh, probably and. Like I said, I have a Martian Manhunter. So, like I said, I've got, like, the core group of Justice League. Yeah. So, it's like, that's that's as far as I'm going to give it to McFarlane anymore. Because, like I said, he just out here making, like, mediocre-ass figures, to be honest. And do you want to sit here trying to now charge 20, 40 bucks for them? Get out of here, bro. Like I said, I'm cherry. Like I said, his shit is strictly, strictly cherry picking. Strictly cherry picking. Uh, but uh, yeah, did I'm we definitely. Decide, did, I we, def- did we decide Vision or Red I'm, Tornado here? I'm, 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 I'm leaning towards Vision. I'm kind of, I'm kind yeah, of on Vision. I would, I would say Vision one. too. Uh, just real quick, Gojira, I, I checked out your picture. I didn't know that Haya toys were that much bigger than Monster Arts. Like he, he kind of towers over these guys. All right, who we got? Next? That's crazy. I, I always thought they were small. I kind of forgot who I put on the <laughs> list, so I forget who's next after Vision and Red Tornado. Yeah, I give it a second. Vision, my son, is that you? Ah, yes. This is a twofer actually, because there's gonna be another one after this. We got Lady Sif and Wonder Woman. Uh, Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Woman by far. Wonder yeah. Woman. Wonder Woman by far. Wonder Woman. Yeah, of course, Wonder Woman. Now, here's the two for here. Wonder Woman or Power Princess. Wonder Woman. Still Wonder Woman. Oh, no. Power Princess is a... Uh... She 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 got that Wonder Woman energy. But but I like Power Princess too. Our Power Princess is more of like a bad girl, you know. Mm-hmm. She's got she she gives off that like naughty energy. Okay, Whereas like energy. you know, like Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman is like. Uh, She's like super like virtuous and stuff like that, you know. Like Wonder Woman is like the lady you bring home to meet your parents, but like Power Princess is like the lady you bring home. Okay, I, I'm gonna go for Power Princess. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. All right. Here we have uh, Aquaman. And Namor, the Submariner. Who does it better? Namor. Aquaman. Nah, Namor. He's the first mutant. Namor. Plus, plus, like, Namor was banging all the hot ladies of the Marvel Universe. He He didn't even care that Susan Storm was married 
He didn't even care. Like that didn't even that didn't even stop Listen, him. From, that didn't even stop him one bit. I think Namor, because at least unlike Aquaman, Namor is not against his look. Like I mean, we came out the gate just as some underwear, and then you know later on we like, well, okay, we'll put clothes on for you. And then he's like, nah, so I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put clothes on, but I'm gonna pop, I'm gonna pop my shirt open a whole bunch so you can see all my chest. He'd be like, hey Sue, mm-hmm. you see my chest? You know what I'm saying? Like, like you like, like my pants? I got pants on now. I'll be back, gentlemen. All right. So we got Paul yeah, Heyman, think- Bull Nakano, and the U.S. Express going to the Hall of Fame. So that when them getting that's the second uh, Hall of Fame ring right there, right? Yeah. I, I must admit, I had kind of never heard of the U.S. Express up until today. And when I saw that, I thought that was just like a joke. Nah, they was at the first WrestleMania, former tag team champions. That's, that's, that's cool. It just, it just goes to show you how many times Mike Rotunda and Barry Windham have been repackaged by the WWE. Put it that way. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of like these these classes are getting like stranger and stranger to me. Because I mean, who else? To, I, who else they gonna? Who else they gonna get? <coughs> yeah, half the people they like don't they don't want to use because they probably in some mixed of some lawsuits, so you'll never see them until they're dead. And it's like it's everybody like, uh, else is just like, how many other people can you pull from the early 2000s, late 90s, huh? I See, I feel like that's why the classes are starting to get smaller. Like, I remember, like, a couple years ago, you would have, like, nine inductees. And now they've cut it down to five because I think they're... I think they're starting to realize that, like, hey, like, we're we're kind of we're kind of burning th- people. We're kind of burning through people too quickly. Yeah, like all the classic ones we kind of did in the early years. All the all the all the all classics from the seventies and eighties, we 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 burnt them out. And like the the, the original <laughs> Hall of Fames, the ones that were like really not televised back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like they're like they're starting to like uh, not run out of people they could induct per se, but I think that they're starting to get to that point. No, they would have to start inducting people who really didn't have a career in WWE if they really wanted to keep it going because it's like everybody else that they've done so far are just people you know from WWE. Like they got to start going outside that realm of like, okay. What about the Midnight Express? So you you picked the USA Express, but not the Midnight Express. And the Midnight Express did a hell of a lot more than the USA Express did. Oh yeah, by far. But 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 somehow these two, uh, you know, most people would say, why is it Micro Tunda being recognized as IRS? Why? Because Micro Tunda has been around so goddamn long. It's like the dude. Uh, Pick one. I mean, he ain't had that many gimmicks <clears> in <throat> WWE. He, he was just Mike Rotunda, and then he became IRS. But if you look back at the NWA yeah. days, he, he he's uh, Mike Rotunda, or in the latter years, uh, Mr. Wall Street. <clears throat> and Barry Windham's been everything from a blackjack to a fucking stalker. Yeah. Jackson Stalkers. No, that was his actual name, the Stalker. Oh, oh shit. Stalker. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. He's been oh, a Widowmaker. He's been a Stalker. He, like I said, he was a Blackjack. WWE repackaged Wyndham's ass several different times. And every time he didn't work, he'd go yeah. back to WCW and he'd just be Barry Windham. So yeah. But yeah, you're like they 
they could definitely start pulling from outside of WWE and start like uh like I could see them like down the road like maybe they well, could they gonna, like I could see them starting I think they were to gonna add, uh, the great Buddha in this year's class I, I was think he was inducted that, last year wasn't was Buddha last year I, I yeah I think he was yeah you're right it was I think he because remember yeah because remember Rey Mysterio had that like he wore that like Muda mask at Wrestlemania and like I remember them making a big deal of it like oh like Rey Mysterio is inducted the same year as the great Muda like that's why he wear he's wearing this like different style of mask Speaking of which, since we're kind of on the topic, what did you think about Okada's uh, debut this past week? I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Like, uh, ad- admittedly, the the heel turn was totally unexpected. It was. It was. And I, I, th- I think, I think I like. I think that's what I like because, again, it's like. It's, it's, we're, we're getting something different for Okada, you know? Like, he's not just coming in, like, super babyface Okada from New Japan. Like, I like that they're coming. He's coming in, and they're just immediately like, okay, you know what? Let's kind of let's kind of do something. Let's kind of do something different with him. And again, it was, it was unexpected. Like, when he came out, and it made him look like he was going to help Eddie Kingston, and then... It, 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 admittedly, the the rainmaker was a little awkward. Like the setup was a little awkward, but uh, it was kind of like it, it definitely kind of surprised me. And then you know, like now he's taken Kenny Omega's place in the elite. Like that's kind of like that's kind of interesting. So the only thing I don't like is the heel run of the young bucks right now. <clears throat> because they're tr- they're trying to be tongue- yeah they're trying to be tongue in cheek about it yeah but it's, it's it seems kind of forced and heavy handed and it's just coming off just kind of corny and it's like bro if you're gonna be a heel just be a heel but stop trying to be like a funny ironic heel like when we're sitting yeah, here, like it seems doing, like we're doing the whole thing of the changing the names, and we got the mustaches, and the, and just the whole like, just doing like like blatantly doing like kill things, just to get the crowd to, to pop and shit. And this is like, bro, it's it's just force. Like all that shit that like that yeah, whole promo it, before Okada came out was just so forced. To try to get heat. It it, it feels it, it feels almost like it, it it feels like almost like they're they're trying to take a shot at CM Punk in a way of like oh like this is what CM Punk made us sound like so this is what we're gonna be and like every part of this is just kind of is just kind of like uh, taking a shot at CM Punk and it's kind of like. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I don't I don't super love the whole like EVP thing. Like I love a heel young bucks, but I would rather just see like traditional heel young bucks versus like whatever they're doing now. Like I'm not feeling their ring gear. Like whatever they were wearing at Revolution, I, I was not a fan of. <laughs> like it's like I said, like, it's I just it's just it's very forced. Like it's very forced. Yeah. And like I said, they're sitting there just doing all these like kind of like like it's like f- heavy handed like heel work where it's like yeah I'm pretty sure like you're trying to parody somebody and, and this is good popping the boys in the back but what about the general audience this just seems really fucking forced yeah it does like I said, I'd rather, like I said, you be just the young bucks and just be some cocky little pricks than to sit here and, and and we like, now we're going to sit here and dress up, play, actually sit here and play dress up. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like, yeah, but, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not, I'm not feeling healing. Just the same way I wasn't feeling baby face, um, 
MJF, I'm not feeling heel executive box because it's it's it's, it's, it's kind of corny. It's kind of corny. Yeah. It's just yeah, I don't know. I just I just to me it just feels like really like it just feels like a whole rib on like the whole CM Punk thing. I don't it know. Probably this is, is. maybe I'm totally maybe I'm totally maybe I'm totally wrong, but it just feels it just feels like they're like they're still taking a shot to where it's like, oh, this is what CM Punk said we are, so this is what we're gonna be, I guess. I think that is what it is, because, like, I mean, half the time when they're sitting there doing their little promos and shit, they're just kind of, like, grinning at the camera like they're, they're doing the Jimmy Fallon where they're laughing at their own material before they even finish the material. They're already laughing yeah, like at they, it. Because it's, like, it's just like a private they, joke to pop the boys. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's what it feels like. Like, they can't even take it seriously. So yeah, how, they're how not. can we, that's the, the audience... You can see it on TV mm-hmm. that they're not because they're sitting there yeah. just kind of grinning and cheesing while they're doing their shit. And it's like, you're clearly not doing this for a general audience because this is for the boys. This is some private little joke, yep. some, inside sh- some inside rib that unless you work in the AEW and know all the ins and outs of the back thing, stage shit going on, this shit is over your head. You just see a dude looking kind of awkward on camera. Yeah, exactly. Like, how are we supposed to take it seriously when they can't even take it yeah, seriously? Yeah, so it's just like, bro, this shit is corny. Like, like kill this shit. Like, hurry up and, like, get this, Make go back to being babyface or something because this, this EVP run is not a good idea. It's not making y'all look good. Y'all just out here looking like 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 y'all sitting there just like acting like like real petty children. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. WWE, WWE don't WWE don't spend its its, it's weekly programming, good or bad or whatever you want to say it is. They don't sit here and take their time to 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 throw shots at you. Yeah, but y'all go out of y'all way at least once a program. At some point, take a shot at the competitions, just so you can get that little oh, that 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 pop from the from the marks who don't wear deodorant in your fucking audience. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, cut that uh, shit out. I'm 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 gonna assume that uh, I'm gonna assume that nobody cares about uh, collision collision spoilers. What, how that arena, how that, how really how that arena was dead as fuck? So, I guess on tomorrow night's episode of Collision, the, the Young Bucks and Okada wrestle like, uh, they wrestle in a six-man tag against, like, three jobbers. Yeah, and I see and somebody, admittedly, somebody already posted a photo of the arena and how that shit was fucking empty as fuck. See, like, it, admittedly, like, that I, I that I don't like. Like I that's what worries me about like Okada being with the young bucks is I don't want him to just be like uh, Okada should stand on his own. Like he should be like his own man. Like he shouldn't just be like uh I, I don't want him to just be one third of the elite, you know? He's literally just the young bucks to Keshka now. That's it. That's what, yeah, like, that's what I, like, that's what I don't want him to be, like, I don't want him to be just another guy in a, in a faction, like, they should still, they should still be, he should still be, they should still book him like a top guy, like, he should still be booked like a top singles guy, even, whether he's a baby face or a heel, I, I don't no, want him to quick just, question, how long is the contract he got be, with AEW? Any what's the what's the time frame? I think it's like I think I think it's like three years. Cause I feel like within them three years, people are like, oh he should have went to WWE. He'll he'll still go to WWE. Cause like AEW man, mm, they, yeah. they be they be doing Maybe. shit that just makes motherfuckers want to go to the E for some reason. He's 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 making he's making four point five million a year in AEW, so he do, he he's doing all right. Yeah, so like that's the thing where like, yeah, you know, by the end of it, by the end of his contract, he'll he'll have made 
like well over ten million dollars, which four four point five million is is more than like Brock was making in WWE. Like if you kind of think about it, like Brock was making like two three million a year. Okada's making like almost double. Granted, Okada's gonna be wrestling way more often than Brock did, so I guess it's kind of like you can compare. But yeah, I don't know. We'll kind of we'll kind of have to see what happens. Uh, but question, I, I don't does, think the does, ref does, should does this be. Move the needle? Does this does this move, get momentum for AEW? It's, it's 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 hard to say. I I think oh no no. I don't know. I don't know. Because I think that I think the thing is is I think I I don't think at this point, I think giving, the problem with AEW is literally giving the people New Japan and America at this point. Cuz look at the look at the roster I think, they got right now. I think the problem I think the problem with AEW their audience is not as big as what they think it is. I think that's the biggest issue with AEW is I think they they think their audience is bigger than it actually is. Like WWE WWE I've said it time and time again, WWE can put out the shittiest product week after week and they do. They can put out the crappiest wrestling period and it doesn't matter. People will watch WWE because they've been watching it since they're five years old. They're 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 in their fifties now, and they've been watching it since they're ten years old. So they're gonna watch it every single week. Every week they're gonna watch it, no matter what. Doesn't matter how good it is. Doesn't matter how bad it is. They will watch it every time because they've been watching it their whole lives. Like some people, some people they've been watching Raw since Raw existed. They're not gonna stop now. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I know him. He's me. That's why. <laughs> that's why their. That's that's why their audience. That's why their audience is what it is, and that's not even a knock. That's not even like a knock at WWE. Like I'm just saying, like that's that's what it is. Like people have been watching WWE their whole lives. They're they're too invested to tune out. Where AEW does not really have that yet, and I think their issue is they think their audience. Is bigger than it actually is. No, their audience is literally New Japan and indie marks, and they're they're literally make they're recreating New Japan in America. Like I said, look at their roster. Of, of course, I know him. He's me. <laughs> yeah, of course I know him. He's me, bro. I've been watching Raw before Raw existed. I've been watching WWE before Raw existed when it was nothing but superstars in prime time. That's what I mean. And I'm 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 the indie and New Japan mark. Like I'm that guy. Like I like I said. I think A A W A W books a product where twenty percent of people will like it, but those twenty percent really love it. And if you're not in that twenty percent, then you don't care. Yeah, Me, to, I'm, I'm in that twenty the percent. Other. They need to cater to the other eighty percent. 80% that they're leaving out there that they need to get to, especially on a grander scale like cable TV. Like, there's nothing wrong with having all these yeah. New Japan stars come to your company. Like I said, you got Okada, you got Jay White, you, you got us, uh, uh, um, Juice Robinson, you got Osprey. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got all of them here. Plus the dudes that do come from New Japan to visit. Like, it's literally just New Japan in America. Like I don't even know what the point of strong existence is here, because <laughs> like all the all the good all the good New Japan talents now in AEW, and like I said, if you if you, if you include Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks, like yeah, it started with them. But you know, it is what it is. All I know is it's like, hey, look here, I don't, I don't. I, th I think he'll have some good matches with people he's already had a hundred matches with already in Japan, and they'll just be here in America now. And that's fine. But at the same time, at the same at at the same t at the same time, there's a lot of people he never worked with in Japan that I'm excited for the prospect of him working with. Yeah, there's a couple. Like Okada never faced like Samoa Joe. 
like he never faced Swerve. He never faced uh, like he never faced John Moxley. So we'll see. Like I like the heel Okada. I like that they're doing something different with him, but it's it's all it's all the booking too, right? Like it it all sort of depends too how they book him. And I think like look how they booked, like look how they booked uh, Osprey. Like Osprey's first match. He gets a he gets a high profile match on a pay per view against against uh, another great talent, and then his second match he's facing the Ring of Honor Television Champion. Like right out of the gate, he gets two good matches. Okada's first match out of the gate, he he's in a six man tag jobber match. So like it it, it sort of depends too. Like he. He will only do as good as they as they book him. Alright, well, let's let's get back on this before you have to leave. We still got a couple more out here. We got <laughs> Bullseye and Deadshot. Who does it better? Deadshot. Deadshot. Nah, Bullseye. Hands down. Bullseye. Bullseye, totally. Come on. He can use anything. He doesn't need just a gun. He can use anything. Uh, <laughs> but see like that's that's where I, I find he's ineffective like if bulls if bullseye can't find something lying around to use against you then he's totally then he's utterly useless whereas deadshot he, he doesn't need to he doesn't need to worry about picking something up off the ground to use against you All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, what we got here? All right, we got two shapeshifters and aliens. Martian Manhunter or the Scrolls? Who does it better? Martian Manhunter. Yeah, I would have to say Martian Manhunter does it better. But, I mean, yep. you do have the Super Scrolls, which can pretty much replicate everything Martian Manhunter does. Plus more. Yep. So I would say the scrolls probably do it better. Yeah, I think the scrolls plus the scrolls are many. Martian Manhunter is one. That's true. Yeah, but I think Martian Manhunter is more interesting. I mean, that's subjective. Yeah, you might be right. Yeah, I, I don't know. This is uh, this is another. This is another tough one where they're both they're both good in in different in different ways, but yeah, it is, it is a tough one to call. But I I, I would say I'll, I'll still stick with the the squirrels. I think because they have the ability to just adapt to everything and, and create a super scroll that could take on features of whatever. Plus, on top of that, with the shape shifting. It's like, yeah, you, you pretty much can make an indestructible, pretty much make your own Martian Manhunter. Yeah. Yeah, I have to agree to disagree on that one. All right, we got here Firestorm and the Human Torch. Who does it better? Firestorm. Firestorm. Uh, human Torch. For me. Yeah. I would have to like, say I don't know, it's a tough one. Fire Firestorm is not limited to just fire. Like he his power is basically like alchemy. Like remember in that one movie he turned he turned the ground into quicksand and like the dude got stuck? I would say Firestorm definitely did it better because Johnny's limited to just the heat. Sure, he can go really hot with it, but you know, Firestorm can do a little bit more though. Alright, let's move on. Alright, 
right, now we got a team. Suicide Ooh. Squad or the Thunderbolts? Who did it better? Suicide Squad. Yeah, Thunderbolts don't die. <laughs> Thunderbolts don't die. Yeah, I'd give it to the Suicide Squad. I say Suicide. Yeah, I don't know. Plus, DC. I, I think the DC villains are more interesting than the Marvel villains. Some of them are. Yeah, the lower level ones Some are of them. So, Some not so much. Uh, here's an interesting one because this is a trio. Reed Richard, Mr. Fantastic, the Elongated Man, or Plastic Man? Who does it better? Uh, Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic. I mean, Plastic Man's pretty badass in his own right, man. Don't sleep on him. Superman don't even fuck with Plastic Man. Like Plastic Man, get up in your get up in your body. Also, Plastic Man is almost indestructible. I don't think Reed's got that same ability with his with his stretching. Like like Plastic Man can literally kind of do like a T. T-1000 on that ass. Yeah, true. True. Uh, Sir Fantastic's like a genius, though. Yeah, he's, he's got, got, got that. He, he does have the intelligence. That is true. There's the Council of Reeds. <laughs> Where is Zod? <laughs> Definitely, uh, e elongated man is not better than either of these guys. Nah, he's just elongated. Yeah, like he's just like kind of like a detective. You know what? Just for the just for the Council of Reeds, I'll give it to Fa Mr. Fantastic. Like I said, Plastic Man's still pretty bad, pretty bamf. But yeah, read, read, read. Be taking it to a whole nother level, though. All right, what we got? All right, we got Wolverine and Lobo. Who does it better? I mean, come on, it's Wolverine. I mean, it's tough, like, cause Wo Lobo's pretty fucking bamf too. Yeah, he is. Who would you say? Wolverine. Wolverine, yeah. Jimmy? Mm, Wolverine. Yeah. All right, let me see what we got. Hawkeye, Green Arrow. Who does it better? Which which lame ass archer is the least lamest? <laughs> Green Arrow is better. I'm a Green Arrow. Yeah, I'd say yeah. Queen. Queen's better. All right. Uh, sidekicks who came back from the dead with the soldier or Red Hood. Who did it better? Red Hood. Hands uh, down. Uh, uh, Bucky, Winter well, Soldier. I mean, Bucky's kind of badass too, man. He can't sleep on the Winter Soldier. Yeah, like Winter Soldier was assassinating like politicians and like world leaders and shit like that, you know? That's a tough yeah, one. yeah, but Red Hood is Red Hood was kind of like Batman who didn't hold back though. Uh, that's that's why I liked him. I mean, yeah, it's 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 Batman who didn't hold back, but you know, you got you got Cap's 
literal sidekick who was helping him fight Nazis, then got brainwashed by him. Damn brainwashing. Uh, you won't have to just ag- agree to Plus Red Hood. Could, Red, Hood, Red Hood could never best Batman. Winter Soldier bested Cap on multiple occasions. True. Well, that's true. Best sorcerer. We got Doctor Strange or Doctor Fate. Doctor Fate. I don't know. The Sorcerer Supreme is pretty badass. Who did it better? I, I mean, I, 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 I kind of lean to Doctor Fate too myself. Do- Doctor Strange is arguably the more powerful, but I, I prefer Doctor Fate. In like design and like backstory. Yeah, agreed. I, I I like Doctor Strange, or I like Doctor Fate better, but Doctor Strange is probably the better character. But personally, I I, I like Doctor Fate better. All right. Next, we've got the Nova Corps or the Green Lantern Corps. Who did it better? Green, Green Lantern Corps. Yeah, yep. yeah, hands down. Yeah. yeah, you don't beat the Green Lantern. Definitely. Corps. Like Nova Corps, not even really a thing. Thing like like the individual characters. You can name other people in the Green Lantern Corps outside of like John Stewart and Hal Jordan. Yep. So yeah, definitely uh, Green Lantern Corps. All uh, right, we got. One of the most tried and true, Deadpool or Deathstroke? Who did it better? Uh, I- I'm torn on this. Uh, if you if you would have asked me ten years ago, probably Deadpool, but now it's probably Deathstroke. I'm going to say Deathstroke. Yeah, Deathstroke. What do you say, Matt? Yeah, I'm saying Deathstroke. We got Quicksilver or the Flash. Flash, no contest. Yeah. Yeah, Flash all the way. Pietro can't tap into the Speed Force. And he's a bastard. All right, Thanos or Dark Side. Who is the Dark side. Mad Titan? Dark side. For me. I would have to say this one is almost kind of tied because, like, equally, there's arcs where these dudes just fucking dominate. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's hard to say, like, one is better or worse than the other to be honest I feel like Thanos needs the Infinity Gems and the Infinity Gauntlet to be truly unstoppable whereas Darkseid doesn't need any accessories that's, that's my sort of thinking you know what that, you, you, that's a good point that is, that's, a, that's a damn good point you, you present there Matt Like without the without the gems and without the gauntlet, like Thanos is still very strong, but you know that he sort of he sort of needs the glo- the glove. He sort of needs that extra boost to be really like world threatening. Whereas Darkseid really doesn't. Like Darkseid is a menace without all that stuff. That is true. That's true. Uh, let me let's wrap this up. I hear you about the you starting to 
in that you about to head to work mode. All right, we got Iron Man, Batman. Which billionaire does it better? Both men possess great gadgets and gear, intelligence, uh, resources, everything. Batman. Batman, because without all the gadgets and stuff, Batman is still very, he's still a very lethal, like, martial artist. Tony Stark without the suit of armor is nothing. That is true. But I guess, I guess Tony Stark is a genius, and I don't really think Batman is. I mean, Batman like is Batman no, other... no dummy, though. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're right. Like, he's smart in, like, a different way. Like, he has his intelligence. Sure, is he, is he creating arc reactors? No, but he can make a, a durable bat suit if he needs one. He can he can make a he can yeah, make Iron that. Man. You he's made his that. own Iron Man suits before. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a little more cruder than how Stark would do them. But he does this. He's done yeah. the same. I just think I'm, I'm still you, you're right though. Batman's just more proficient in his own skin. I don't think Tony's that proficient of a hand to hand fighter without the suit. So I think I think yeah, I like, think Batman would just could could definitely deal him one. Yeah, yeah. Like at its core, Batman is, is lethal with or without the gadgets where Tony Stark is not. Alright, let me see what we got. Huh. Alright, we got the Young Avengers and Young Justice. Who does it better? Young Justice. Yeah, I would say Young Justice does it better. Young Avengers are just like just characters that no one really ever cares about anyway. Where this is like Young Justice is like okay, these are just these are sidekicks that are going off and doing their own thing, and they're and they're and they're already pretty established in their own rights. Yeah, agree. All right, I think there's like one more. Yes, Justice League and the Avengers. Who does it better? Uh, I'll, I kind of want to say just based off of the scale of like people, I would say probably the Avengers does it better. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree with Avengers. Because it's like, yeah, yeah, sure, the the Justice League takes on other members, but the Avengers will take just anyone. Be like, hey, you a, you a hero? Oh, shit, then you're an Avenger now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, the, the, the Justice League have have a little more stricter criteria to get into their the social group, whereas, like, Avengers is like, nah, you in now. You, you, you good now. You, 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 on, you on the team now, unless your name is Deadpool. <laughs> All right. But, yeah, that is it for who did it better. Man, you about to you about to head out? I think we might have lost them already. Oh no! Well, I 
think with that, I think we can uh, kind of wrap it up here ourselves. I guess we didn't get to the trailer, but uh, unless do you still want to go over the trailer? It's up to you. It's pretty much just the same as the first. Nah, well, nah, nah, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't care either. <laughs> so. Yeah. But hey, listen. I want to thank everybody for coming out and joining us tonight. Appreciate y'all. And uh, hey, smash the like, subscribe if you're not, and enjoy all that other fun stuff. Uh, join uh, Matt and myself Monday night for Monday Night Clickbait Wrestling. And yeah, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your evening, and make sure you always kick out. Thick boys out. Bye, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Super. We got the skills to pose in our way.